It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. got things on the way Jim you've played in games of this nature he can make the difference yeah Jan Oblak he's not someone you often see pulling off spectacular saves but that's about the highest compliment you can give a goalkeeper because it speaks to his positioning and his organizational abilities he's just about the best there is when it comes to to claiming crosses and high balls into the box too and is just the kind of presence that spreads a, a composure and a confidence to his defence and throughout the team. Yes, yeah, getting real chance! Oh, that's brilliant! A finish right from the top draw! You run short of superlatives. That was extra special. Finland have an early lead. Good start. Gets into a dangerous position. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Hit into the middle. Cleared without complication. And the referee has brought play back and showed him a yellow card. Finland are seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1-0 lead to show for it. Goes for the cross. Just to point out, Peter, that the full-backs are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Kurtic. He's tried one. It's anyone's ball. And they've been caught out here. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Oh, shooting chance! That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Crossfield changing the point of attack. Finland scored early, of course, and it's 1 0. Balls out on the left now. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. to get it forward quickly.
Out to the left it goes. Room for a chance to shoot! Their attempt, just the wrong outcome. Over to the left. Played into the middle. That had too much on it. Forward it goes. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Into the air. has a hit a really close shave and the last action of the first half and the team still separated by one goal but it should be very different I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline they'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job Finland they're in at half time with a slender one goal lead and the game has already resumed here Finland carrying a one-goal lead. Turns and goes, he's had a shot! This could fall anywhere! Josip Ilicic. A heavy challenge. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Tries to cross. Gets up to hit it! Kurtic. Kurtic drives it forward. Zeitz. Kurtic. Up to meet it! And in he goes again! And in it goes! Slovenia back on level terms! He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. That has certainly made things interesting. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. Not offside that time. All Black gets it upfield. Zeitz. Hits one! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Throw in. 
Archer averted for now. Looking to hit the front line. And the counter is on. deserve better that was created because of good lively movement which pretty much dictated the pass Slovenia can make their change now with uh, a break in Needed to be better than that, and he knows it. He's got it, and he's got time. Shot at goal! Goal, Finland! And again, they hit the front. Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Finland go into the lead. I think the danger for them now is fatigue. I think when the body tires, the mind soon follows. So concentration is key from here. Slovenia are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Slovenia are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Finland just have to run down the clock. for a corner plays it out to the wing back into the middle ninety minutes up we're into stoppage time Puts in a cross. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to uh, to hold on for the support. Played it again. Well, Red, he sorted that out. And that is that. Finland wins by the odd goal. Really could have gone either way, but a win is a win. Would you summarise what we've seen today, then, Jim? Finland showed us why it's so important. To...